Trezak, a visitor from a distant planet that is friendly with Earth, entered the Musée de la Machine. As an off-world researcher, he had secured rare access to study human combat technologies from their great wars. Stepping through the vaulted archway, he activated his translation microbes and scanned the echoing halls. At the reception desk sat a woman, absorbed in documents on her monitor. Trezek greeted her in French, introducing himself as the expected visitor from Rigel IV. Enchanté, Monsieur Trezek, I am Curator Julia Pierre. Please, follow me and we'll begin your orientation. Julia led him through the collections, pausing at restored vehicles from ages past. Trezek scanned each with curiosity, absorbing technical details through his enhanced optics. As they walked, Julia explained her role advising governments on the care and use of these artifacts from turbulent eras. Our goal is accurate preservation alongside thoughtful education. Coming to a hangar marked 1939 to 1945, Julia turned to him. This was humanity's most destructive period. What elements intrigue your research? Trezek considered the question carefully. All wars hold difficult lessons. I aim to understand challenges faced by engineers and soldiers and how ingenuity flourished even under immense pressure. Julia nodded, opening the doors. Wise insights. Let us begin. Inside warmed the scent of old machinery and filtered sunlight. Neat rows of machines sat quietly, polished, and carefully marked. Trezek first approached a Panzer III, scanning the riveted armor with interest. Rugged construction, optimized for rapid production. Tell me of its role in early battles. As Julia recounted tactical deployments, Trezek noted power ratios, munition capacities, and crew arrangements, and compared them to later models' advances. Eager to learn more, Trezek followed her deeper into the vast chamber, pausing before each vehicle to delve into minutiae with insatiable curiosity. After absorbing terabytes of technical specifications from British Cromwells and American Shermans, Trezek turned to Julia. Most of our viewers aren't yet subscribers. If that's you, then please hit subscribe and help support the channel. Your archival databases would illuminate production priorities and strategic considerations. May we access them to deepen comparative analyses? She smiled. The library is at your disposal, sir. Please, follow me there, and I'll activate your security clearance. As they walked the quiet halls, Trezek glimpsed historical photographs depicting grim realities of warfare. Grateful for keen curiosity untainted by direct experience, he pondered humanity's will to persevere through crisis and create ever-evolving means of self-defense. In the library's vaulted study, Julia activated terminals granting him unfettered access. All resources are networked for your convenience. Please, don't hesitate to ask if you require further details on collection specifics. Settling in with enthusiasm, Trezek commenced rigorous parsing of military correspondence, production orders, damage reports, and technical journals detailing evolving threat assessments and engineering solutions. Graphing penetration values against sloped equivalents illuminated armor design trade-offs across combatants. He noted how mass production priorities complicated mechanical reliability for some, while standardized parts facilitated maintenance for others. Simulations modeling battlefield engagements with various armament strategies against reconstructed opposing vehicles allowed actionable insights into tactical adaptations over time. Hours passed as Trezek immersed himself in the voluminous archives, pausing only briefly to replenish electrolytes. His earlier scans processed at the cellular level, integrating fragmented details into a cohesive historical compendium. Gradually, a richer understanding took shape of the immense pressures faced by all combatants to advance their tools of war under mortal circumstances. Though saddened by loss of life, Trezek felt privilege in intimately experiencing humanity's will to survive and triumph through ingenuity even in their darkest hours. By sunrise, 
a profound respect had formed for the species' fortitude and inventiveness against overwhelming odds. This was only the beginning. As the morning sun rose over the archive building, Trezek emerged from the library, brimming with new insights. His studies illuminated volumes, yet gaps remained to fully contextualize humanity's ingenuity under duress. Though archives held untold knowledge, first-hand examination proved invaluable for his research aims. Trezek found Curator Julia in her office, finalizing restoration plans for rescued artillery pieces. Greetings exchanged, he inquired if restored vehicles may be examined close up. An opportunity to non-invasively analyze material composition and systems integration could yield invaluable data. Julia smiled warmly. The hangar is yours to explore, Monsieur Trezac. Might I accompany with technical details? Graciously accepting, they departed for the vast chamber housing humanity's mechanized legacy. Work crews meticulously tended restored tanks while fabricated components filled orders to preserve global memory. Trezac scanned rows of familiar silhouettes, selecting a late model Sherman to commence further analysis. Peering within armored confines as Julia recounted production volumes, Trezac noted efficient utilization of materials. Mass production facilitated standardization and expedient repairs, critical advantages. Through enhanced vision, he studied rivet placements and weld qualities, comparing assembly methods between adversaries. Soviet T-34 tanks caught his eyes, sloped armor angles analyzing readily apparent. Innovative protection with minimal resources. The metallurgical analysis would be enlightening. Julia nodded. Our foundry has meticulous records from the period. Shall we proceed? He noted minimal crew provisions, reflecting the USSR's desperate circumstances. Comparative production rates across combatants illuminated strategic resource management. Towards midday, Julia received a call, stepping aside. Trezak took the opportunity to analyze a hulking Tiger I, armor thickness dwarfing earlier designs. Scans detected precise construction, yet seams revealed months elapsed between prototypes and deployment, a calculated risk. Assessing mechanical systems through microscopic lenses, he comprehended field modifications aimed at addressing early unreliable complications. Despite vulnerabilities such as petrol engines, Tiger Ones dominated when operational, altering tactical doctrines. Breaking from enrapturement, Trezek observed restoration crews, fixing the track on a Churchill tank. Though low speed with short range, thick armor proved a critical advantage on the defensive. Considering production strains, Durability proved as vital as firepower against a numerically superior enemy. As Trezak inspected a German Stug III's assault gun, Julia rejoined, bemused. Find your research enlightening, monsieur? He chirped affirmatively. Each vehicle yields unforeseen insights. Might remaining storage facilities be accessed? She smiled. Of course. This way, the more hangars await exploration. Under sheltering arched roofs lay more machines, quietly enduring the present as sentinels of history. Trezek enthusiastically examined examples from all participants. Studying opportunistic variants such as the SU-100, resembling post-war designs foreshadowed future doctrines. Comparative qualities between former adversaries now yielded to compassionate regard a testament to humanity's capacity for reconciliation. Sun sinking towards the western tree line found Trezek absorbed in a late war panther, meticulously analyzing how rushed deployment sacrificed quality. Julia's stories brought designs to life, as sunlight through high windows lit lingering restoration crews. Exchanging thanks, Trezek departed feeling enriched, yet seeking confirmation from operational simulations utilizing quantitative data accrued. Though archives edified, his research required experiential application. Another dawn would herald new insights into humanity's visceral will to overcome through ingenuity, 
resilience, and fraternity amid violence. As Dawn's light filtered into the museum hangars, Trezek rose from rest mode on the floor, systems re-energized. His studies yielded unforeseen insights, yet gaps remained. While archives aided contextual understanding, first-hand experiences proved invaluable. As curator Julia had promised further access, he continued investigations with renewed vigor. Trezek found Julia assisting engineers, reconstructing a half-track from archival schematics. Greetings exchanged. He requested simulator access to analyze engagements incorporating accrued data. A prudent next step. The lab awaits, sir. Gratitude voiced. They departed for the high-tech analysis wing. Within gleamed monitors projecting lush simulations. Operators calibrated complex scenarios modeling tactical doctrines against restored vehicles. Trezek absorbed it all, computational abilities enhancing comprehension. At a terminal, Julia gestured. All resources are open to you, monsieur. How may I assist your studies? Optic scanning capabilities, he responded. Access to damage reports correlating findings. Comparative analyses of engagement strategies. As Julia compiled requested files, Trezek initiated simulations integrating detailed scans and material compositions and assembly methods of armored vehicles from various combatants. Recreating the climactic battle of Kursk through extrapolated tactical routines and upgraded systems based on production strains illuminated strategic imperatives. Studying resource prioritization, optimizing mechanized capabilities against industrially advantaged enemies offered enlightenment. Absorbing terabytes of runtime data, Trezek noted how mass-producing reliable lightweight tanks facilitated numerical advantages despite qualitative disadvantages. Comparatively, concentrating production on specialized mechanized assets amplified individual impact potential, yet proved strategically riskier reliant on fewer vehicles. No singular solution ensured victory, rather, adapting to fluctuating conditions through cooperative effort and constant betterment prevailed. Hours passed as Trezek immersed in simulating replays incorporating field modifications and engineering workarounds resolving initial complications. Emerging from engrossment, Trezek encountered Julia, observing engineers restoring a half-track. Exchanging thanks for unlimited access, he inquired further perspectives on perseverance under duress. She replied, while war tests are best and worst, through shared hardship arises camaraderie and innovation lifting all. Your insights illuminate our capacity for both. Trezek's research neared conclusion. Though darkness exists, so too does light in fraternity, in ingenuity, in relentless hope. Humanity's trials bred understanding among former adversaries, and in understanding, a shared future might be shaped. Trezek departed enriched, perspectives broadened on the indomitable human spirit, prevailing even against greatest odds through compassion and cooperation. Though violence awoke, from its ashes bloomed reconciliation. There lay humanity's greatest invention.